In this video, we'll expand uh, polynomials, otherwise known as multiplying polynomials. The first problem, I'm multiplying the binomial x plus 3 times the binomial x minus 5. I know they're binomials because they are term plus term. And this is also a binomial, term plus term. When you multiply binomials, you could use FOIL. First, outer, inner, last. That is one method for multiplying these. This is a reminder to you of all the terms that need to be multiplied together. The first two terms. So the first term in the first binomial is x. The first term in the second binomial is x, leaving x squared. Outer. So the outside of the first binomial, outside of the second binomial, x times negative 5 is negative 5x. Inner, inside of the first binomial, inside of that second binomial, so the inside of our expression, 3 times x is 3x. And the last terms in each binomial, so the last term in the first binomial, last term in the second binomial. 3 times negative 5 makes negative 15. So when we multiply these two binomials together, the result is x squared minus 5x plus 3x minus 15. Notice that negative 5x and positive 3x are like terms, so it is x squared minus 2x minus 15. This is the same expression as the starting expression. This is the expanded form of that expression, and the original was the factored form of that expression. In the next example, I want to expand the expression x plus 7 squared. Remember that this is x plus 7 times x plus 7. So again, we could use FOIL. F-O-I-L, first, outer, inner, last. The first terms, x times x, makes x squared. Outer, x times 7, makes 7x. Inner, 7 times x makes 7x. And last, 7 times 7 makes 49. Again, we have like terms that can be combined. So x squared plus 14x plus 49. This is the expanded form of that expression. The original was the factored form of that expression. They are equivalent, they are the same, they're just written in different forms. Note here an extremely common algebra error. When students see x plus 7 quantity squared, they often want to say that it is x squared plus 7 squared. No, 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 no. Notice the answer we got was x squared plus 14x plus 49. You cannot simply apply the square to both terms inside the parentheses. You must use that FOIL. You must multiply x plus 7 times x plus 7. As another example, x plus 5 times x minus 5. Again, if you want to use FOIL, first, outer, inner, last. x times x makes x squared x times negative 5 is negative 5x. Five, 5 times x makes 5x. Five, 5 times negative 5 makes negative 25. Gathering like terms, negative 5x plus 5x cancels out, and so overall it is x squared minus 25. This is the expanded form of the expression, the original was the factored form. x plus 2 times 2x minus 5. F-O-I-L. 3x times 2x makes 6x squared. Outer. 3x times negative 5 makes negative 15x. Inner. 2 
times 2x makes 4x. And last, 2 times negative 5 makes negative 10. Gather and combine like terms. Negative 15 plus 4 is negative 11. So overall, it is 6x squared minus 11x minus 10. This is the expanded form. The original was the factored form. They are the same. They are just written differently. In the next example, the first thing to make note of is that I am doing something quite different. This is a binomial. Two terms multiply added together, excuse me, x plus 3. Two things added together. Whereas the second is a trinomial. It is three terms added together, x squared and 5x and negative 1. Three separate terms added together. Cannot use FOIL here. FOIL is used only to multiply two binomials together. Instead, I'm going to recall what I know about multiplying numbers. If I were to ask you to multiply 132 times um, 12, a three-digit number times a two-digit number, you would start over here on the right side and you'd take 2 times 2 and put your answer right underneath. And then you'd move to t multiply 2 times 3 and put your answer in this column. 2 times 1, you'd put your answer in this column. Then you're done with the 2, so you're ready to start multiplying the 1. 1 times 2 and you put your answer in this column. 3 times 1 and you put your answer in this column. 1 times 1, you put your answer here, and then you add them all up. We're going to do the same thing here, just recalling that the same rules apply to our algebraic expressions, because algebraic expressions represent numbers. All these letters represent numbers, so we can treat them in exactly the same algorithm that we use to multiply regular numbers. I'm going to put my three-digit number, my trinomial expression on top, and I'll put my two-digit number, my binomial expression underneath, just like I did a three-digit number times a two-digit number. I'm going to start with the three. I'm going to take three times negative one, and that is negative three. Then I take the three times five x makes fifteen x. Notice I am adding the sign here. I'm subtracting three. I'm adding fifteen x. I include those signs with my solutions down here. I'm now doing 3 times x squared makes 3x squared. Now I'm done with the 3. So I move down a row in a column and I begin with the x. x times negative 1 makes negative 1x. x times 5x makes 5x squared. x times x squared makes x cubed. And now I'm done multiplying everything, and now I need to just add everything up. I'm going to add up all the like terms. I've got x cubed plus 8x squared plus 14x's minus 3. This is the expanded form. The original was the factored form. They are the same. They're just written differently. Try that again. I'm thinking of this like a two-digit number times a three-digit number, a binomial times a trinomial. I put the trinomial on top. I put the binomial underneath. And I begin by multiplying the negative 2 to the entire trinomial. Negative 2 times negative 5 makes positive 10. Negative 2 times 3x makes negative 6x. Negative 2 times 2x squared makes negative 4x squared. Now I'm done with the negative 2. So I move down a row in a column and begin with the x. x times negative 5 makes negative 5x. x times 3x makes 3x squared. x times 2x squared makes 2x cubed. And now I'm done multiplying. I need to add everything up, add together all the like terms. 
I have 2x cubed minus 1x squared minus 11x plus 10. This is the expanded form and the original was the factored form. They are the same, they're just written differently.